up there there is a trail that the eagle hunter they go to train their eagle they train them step by step and they get higher and higher on the mountain one is on top of the horse and going up to the mountain and the other one is down on the valley and they let the eagle take off from the mountain and fly down to the valley and hunt the animal so on until they reach right at the tip of the mountain and they let the eagle fly down by itself Good morning from our girl. Seven. This morning, seven. our kids are busy playing cards yeah. with some of the and kids the from five. here. Now I, I'm risky. Yes, yes, yes. We are guests in their car for two nights. When we woke up, all they wanted to do was okay. play. Nothing so no, wait. This is crazy. We have the eagle in the front seat with us, <laughs> right there. Wow. September to March because the animal in that period it's cold they hunt mostly small animal like fox little little creatures but they hunt wolf too then normally they need a tree eagle to kill a wolf the, the wolf is really strong he's like oh dinner during the summer it's too hot so they take a rest they have a baby they train them okay we're going up the mountain <laughs> oh this is gonna go deeper <laughs> so this is how they train the eagle guys they're gonna hold a, a piece of meat down here and the eagle is gonna be up there and it's gonna jump Ooh, sorry for the wind guys but it's very windy We change location, he said it's better for the wind because it's really windy today. Yes. <gasps> now they're attaching the meat to the fox. Now it's gonna uh, look like the fox is moving with the meat. Okay, so this is the long line which you're gonna attach the horse and the horse is gonna start running. He's gonna pull the fox skin with the meat attached to it so the eagles are gonna chase it and catch it. Three times a day they do it. 
three times a day, and but they're really hungry. Yeah, it's because they give them just a little piece of reward. The eagle is gonna fly on his hand while he's on the horse. Wow! Let's see if this works. Here comes! Here comes! Yay! When it goes out in the wild, there is water and it can drink by itself. Otherwise, he needs this one. He put it in the mouth of the ego and he put the water, especially when they go in the mountain, like this, see? And he just put the water inside. Because in the mountain there is no water, so and the eagle needs to drink. There is all the stomach here now because he eat the meat. It's right here. You can feel it. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, the stomach it's it's full now. When there is no meat inside, it's it's so yeah, and now it's swollen because of this full of meat. So we got really lucky because normally we cannot see the eagle in this period of the year flying because it's really hot and the eagle they don't like the heat in the body so they normally do the training in uh, August but today it's a very cloudy day and it's colder and the eagle gift us with the flying it's really cool okay, one of the best parts of traveling is watching your kids connect with other kids although they do not speak the language because play doesn't always need to have a translation they still have fun well this is causing me one video one video oh okay i love you they still have fun although they don't really know what they're saying it's not always about just seeing all these places, it's also about connecting with the people of the place. It's beautiful to see. I didn't even do hard, stop it. Do it again. Go. Oh! Now fall! Perfect! Come on, punch you, punch you, punch you, punch you. Oh. Punch you hard though, hard shot, hard. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Wait, wait, I'm gonna get his face, I'm gonna face him this one, get his face.
Okay, three grown men skipping rocks on the lake. <laughs> this is my ego. Yeah. See, like <laughs> they have real egos. Mas has this ego. <laughs> and it weighs much less. <laughs> it's 249 grams, guys. And that's it. No food? Perfect. Like, I pack it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they pack the ego too. Mas shows us with his ego, Lake Toba. <laughs> So he was like, eh, eh, eh. I said you want to get off, so I put it off. He was like, ah! <laughs> I put it back on. I was like, okay, okay, I said you want to get off. Ah, oh, you're on a motorcycle. They're speeding Ooh, on a highway. Hold on, you. <laughs> you're back. You're back. <laughs> Ooh, they're driving. Party the eagle people. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We woke up to this this morning. There is horses, cows, camel. I speak so low because it's six o'clock in the morning and everybody is sleeping it's so quiet ah it's so amazing relaxing here wow what is beautiful about this experience here is the simplicity of it. I mean, we did a lot by seeing the eagle hunters, but then we just stayed here and we just connected with the family. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need that much. You need to just experience a place. Don't go too much to see the, the, the sight and everything. Just go with the experience because the experience is the best thing that you can bring back home. And this is amazing. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see other experience we do and hopefully you will want to do them too. Bye guys. As usual, in the main square of most of the places that we've been, they have all the entertainment for kids. Over here you see the bouncy house. They have the reshow. There are actually two bikes and fused under this together. Is actually the seat of the, of the, under these is the seat of the bikes. Yeah, they are really bikes and they have all the car with the batteries they have even one with the roof Luca had to go for a motor ride he's gonna run me over we're in the main square here in Ugi 
before we catch our plane, we had to do something. So there's plenty to do for kids. Okay, here we have Luca and Cosimo and Emma. Okay guys, it's crazy in there. It's only 5,000, that is like not even a dollar for 30 minutes in the bouncy house. Look at that, how many kids. And Luca is one of them, as usual. Okay, there was a little change to our trip. Someone is on a wheelchair. Luca, look, I have a wheelchair for you. Maybe. Sometimes happen. With kids, it's this. It's... Yeah, Luca just uh, put some way, in a weird way, his leg while he was bouncing in the bouncy house. And he broke his leg. Oh, you want to come with me? So now we have to get to plane. Just happened less than two hours ago, so Luca has a lot of pain. This is not exactly how we wanted to end this part of our trip. But he's gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back. back. 